Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Sally Turner, joined here today with Amethyst Tate to discuss the engagement of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. So Amethyst, it all went down Monday night. Kanye yeah. West proposed to Kim with a 15 carat diamond ring. They have a baby together, Little North, but will it last? You know, first of all, super excited for Kim finally on her 33rd birthday. She's got engaged. Third time. Uh, <laughs> third time's hopefully the charm. But it's hard to tell whether this will last because you know, I feel like with Kim Kardashian, she's had her ups and downs, obviously. She's been married. Um, the second marriage to Chris Humphrey seemed very fake, but I feel like she wanted it to last, but, or she wanted to get married, so mm -hmm. she married him and then realized it was a huge mistake. Uh, hopefully for the sake of North, this last, Kim and Kanye seem to be infatuated with one another, and they both have very similar personalities, which I think bodes well for them. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, Amber Rose, Kanye's ex-girlfriend, uh, said in an interview last year that Kanye and Kim cheated on their significant others at the time with each other. Mm. So I feel like a relationship that's based off of cheating might not have the brightest future, but we will see. We will see. Speaking of Chris Humphreys, they were married for 70 odd days mm -hmm. in this, you know, huge televised event. Yeah. She made a lot of money out of it. The public was really angry at her mm -hmm. when she divorced him and he seemed genuinely in love with her. Yeah. So has he had any comments or anyone from his family said anything about the engagement? Well, he hasn't said anything. I feel like he's trying to focus on basketball and not getting teased too much by his teammates. But uh, his father, William Humphreys, did comment about the engagement and he seemed pretty sarcastic. He basically said that based off of Kris Jenner and Bruce Jenner's recent separation, Kim has a bright future ahead of her. That's basically what he said in, in, in an interview with Daily News. And he also said that um, Kanye West didn't choose the ring. <laughs> he said uh -huh. that Kim totally chose it herself, which I actually <laughs> wouldn't be surprised about. <laughs> and he just seemed pretty bitter. So do we know what kind of a wedding it will be? Obviously, Kanye West is a different star from Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, based on talent. He's kind of private. Yet Kim Kardashian, she's a reality star. Right. Absolutely. Like, they're complete opposites. But sources did say that there were a number of camera crew uh, members at the stadium where Kanye West proposed to Kim. So it's possible that it might be on TV and televised. In regards to the actual nuptials, sources also said that Kanye West really is a fan of Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. So he might actually uh, end up marrying Kim in Las Vegas at the Graceland um, wedding chapel. Mm -hmm. So that is rumored. So we'll see if that ends up happening, but it won't happen for a while because Kanye West is still on his tour. He just began um, this past weekend, his Yeezus tour, and it doesn't end until 2014. So wow. there will be a lot of speculation as to where the wedding will take place and whether it will be huge, but most likely it will be more intimate than uh, Kim Kardashian's previous lavish wedding mm -hmm. to Chris Humphreys. Now, the Kardashians have been all over the tabloid lately. There's been a lot of drama with all of them. Yeah. You know, Chris and Bruce just separated, mm -hmm. Chloe and Lamar heading that way. Mm -hmm. um, how much of it is hype and how much is it because of ratings or is mm -hmm. there a Kardashian curse? You know, I'm still conflicted about this. I feel like even though they're reality stars and they do care a lot about ratings and I think Kris Jenner is very gun-ho on making sure that they're always in the tabloids, always in headlines. They're women and I feel like as a woman they do want a family, they do want someone who supports them and stands by them and is faithful to them. Uh, I do think with Lamar and Chloe primarily that story has most likely been embellished. I can't imagine Lamar Odom being strung out on crack in some random hotel room, or at least I choose not to believe that. Mm -hmm. uh, I do think that if he does have a drug problem, it's been, um, you know, saturate, the story has been saturated with a lot of details that make it more entertaining for the mm -hmm. media, unfortunately, and I think that that is putting more pressure on the marriage than there would have been if they weren't in the public eye. So I certainly think that there is a curse, but I also think that these women genuinely want someone who's a partner and who's faithful and that their story has been embellished in the media because they're so famous and in the public eye mm -hmm. so often. Well, let's hope third time's a charm for Kim. We'll have to wait and see. We'll see. <laughs> I hope that she stays happy, for the right? sake of, yeah, especially for the sake of their daughter. Yeah. Thanks, Amethyst. Well,